Hello, this is technical video instructions how to use SAP22 automatic turbo decoder for Italian cars, Fiat Lancia, Alfa, Iveco, Maserati. This is the profile SAP22 tension wheel, pin access wheel with graduated scale pump wheel and our company details here and the serial number of the product. This tool is made for unlock very quick both cylinders with seven discs and full cylinder with eight discs. I will show you the difference and how to use the tool. The first thing you have to do when you get the tool is to reset the pins. To reset the sliding pins, push this ring to the front, turn the back wheel to the right. Use only specific SAP22 calibrated setup device. Keep the tool steady, insert this needle into the holes at the side of your profile. Insert the needle and press. In this way, you reset the pins and you prepare the tool for unlocking. There are eight pins, eight holes, and you have to go in every single hole. Then you can use W40 to spray inside of the lock in order to make the discs moving freely. If there is a blocked disc for some reason, you cannot unlock or will be very difficult. Uh, when you see deformated lock like this one, please do not use turbo decoder because probably the lock is damaged and you risk to break your tool. When you are ready with the reset of the pins, clean the lock. You can check the the lock with the tool to understand if it's a full profile or seven disc. How to check it? Just have to insert the tool. Keep to the right, push to the front, insert the tool all the way into the lock. Touch the bottom of the lock and from here push forward. If no movement on the handle, nothing move. You have to extract the tool, reverse, insert again, check again. If you see this movement, it is indication of two things. The first thing, the orientation is not good. And the second thing, you have full cylinder, eight discs. When you see this movement, of course, you have to click it, extract the tool, Reverse, insert, check just per case, and then start your opening procedure. To start the procedure, fingers here, pull back this ring, and you will see three stop sectors. You have to follow them with the line of the back wheel. On the front wheel, apply a good tension to the right, rotate the back wheel up to one, turn and release. This is demo lock, you can see this disc here, couple of them, and here they must go into the diameter in order to unlock. During the procedure, they will go down little by little. When the last disc come, the lock will be opened. Okay, we do right and left, and stop to one and turn back completely. Tension, one, back, release. Tension, one, back, release. This is the procedure we have to do for 15, 10, 15 times. If the lock is not open, of course, you have to increase the rotation of the back wheel and go in the middle in the second number. Again, right and left tension. Go on two for 10, 15 times. Better 15. Let's see what's happened. 
almost ready. I see one disc remaining here. Let's continue with our process. And the lock turn. Now, if our objective is only to unlock the car, we can do that perfectly well. But if we want to get the code of the lock in order to prepare a mechanical key, we have to do a few more steps to get good reading because C now they're okay but this disc is not okay a little bit out of out of uh, position and probably few other discs are not correctly in the line to get them correctly we have to after unlocking we have to stay in rotation rotate the back wheel totally to the left it will stop on three juggle the two by follow the plane of the key what is mean this is the key neutral we are in rotation and the juggle must be in this direction not up and down in this direction in that way the code will be very well impressed on the pins and the reading will be more precise juggle here go on the other side juggle again now check the lock you're in the neutral turn right turn left the two react like a key go right and left very smooth and the position of the candle is line three now we have to extract the two go in the neutral turn right push to the front and extract the two to get a good reading slide back maximum left and now you have to look at the position of the pins uh, the first pin you have to read is the pin which is closest to the handle it is this one second pin is on the other side one step forward third pin is here fourth pin is here and so on up to the tip of the key in other words from this side with the first pin we will read first third fifth and seventh pin on the other side we will get reading on second fourth sixth and eighth pin and here we have to read the founded numbers on SIP 22 they are not the numbers but they are A, B, C, A, D uh, where the A is the maximum high pin D is maximum deep uh, CNC key cutting machines recognize A, B, C, A, D not 1, 2, 3, 4 and here when we write the numbers we have to write actually the letters let's start we see this pin which is almost at the max position not deep like this one logically when we reset the pins we put them in that position and uh, this should be on the first pin the cut is a or one but you write a we do a here third pin third pin is not so high like this one there is a reference lines if you can see them a little bit here you see reference line the top of the pin match to the first line and this pin is uh, B here we have another one A and A here that is the tolerance you see 2A you can read question mark here if it's not A it should be B but that's because of the tolerances or 
let me see better. Yes, this is, this is exactly in the middle. In that case, I will write the highest number. I always can cut only this position to the next number down. I save time. I save like one key blank for that experiment. So it will be A, B, actually this is C, the top of the pin match to the third line. A, C, in that case, should be A and A. A, C, A, and A. Under this A, I will put a question mark. And I know where to search one eventual error when I make a key. I reverse the two, get reading on the other side. A, B, C, B, A, definitely B. C, B, A, B. C, B, A, B. Okay, I will cut first these numbers or these letters. If I didn't open the lock on the fifth pin, I will, sh I will cut one position down, which is B, and should open the lock. To open another lock, of course, we have to reset the pin, turn right, push to the front, inject that needle in the holes, Let's change the lock. So let's check the lock, turn right, push to the front, inject, check, nothing move on the other side, nothing move. This is seven disc cylinder inside. Three on one side and four on the other. How to understand now the correct way? Just pull back, apply left tension, start to rotate the back wheel. If the hand feel easy rotation, it is a sign of wrong orientation. Release the tension, keep right, push to the front, extract, upside down, insert. And now you can start the procedure. Tension, one, back, release, tension, one, back, release. We have to repeat that for 15, sometimes. He say it's very easy sometimes. Depends on the lock of the coat of the tool, of the hands. It's variable thing. The speed is variable thing. Uh, so don't look for the opening in three seconds look for the opening in one minute, which is more realistic. Okay. We can lock and lock, take a coat, and everything we, we have to do is, is here shown on that video. Now to extract the tool, keep right, push to the front, extract the tool, and here we have A, 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 B. <laughs> Very high cuts normally that open in 10 seconds. Keep in mind that ignition locks cannot be opened directly with the turbo decoder. With reset and procedure here, doesn't exist. But when you when you open the door, and if you if you get a good impression from the door, okay. You go in rotation, pump to maximum, juggle here, juggle there, turn right, extract. Now, you can, if this is from one car, obviously, you can insert the tool into the ignition, pull back, and try. In some position, it must open. Doesn't open because this is from different car. Uh, the orientation also here is 
absolutely important. You see how the two uh, the cylinder go out with the wrong orientation. When the ori orientation is correct, it will stay down. You see, fix it down. Wrong. We have this movement. In other words, you go on the door, open the door, juggle, extract, found the correct orientation, pull back here and try. No, here, here, try, try. In some moment, you will turn it. So, this is everything for this decoder. If you have any further questions, just let us know. Thank you for watching and good luck.